What's good YouTube? How's everyone doing? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to yet another reaction video. If you're new here for the first time, my name is TMR and since you clicked on this video, you might as well subscribe to this YouTube channel and please make sure you click the notification bell and make sure you give me a big thumbs up and also leave your comments down below. What's Good YouTube, what's good TMR gang? Welcome back to the channel, y'all, and welcome back to yet another reaction video. I'm your girl TMR, and you have just clicked on the car chronicles where we get in this car, y'all, and we run our got damn miles about any and everything, whatever's clever, the word on the curb, however, whatever, since we talk about it over here, okay? This video is exclusively for my jazzy life. Hey, Jazzy girl, how you doing, sis? So, you guys, real quick, we are going to get into Jasmine's two latest videos, okay? Now, I was going to actually do an actual reaction um, to her first video where she basically did a public service announcement um, to the people that are trolling her. Y'all was having some technical difficulties, so I'm going to do this reaction off the top of my head of when I watched the video yesterday and key points in the video that I remembered, okay? And then we're also going to react to her children's the twins birthday video that has finally the anticipated birthday video that dropped yesterday as well too so you guys let me know down below if you were able to see any two of those videos um leave your comments down below as i go along with my commentary sis just as i'm talking sis and your thoughts come up sis you just type them we'll go back and forth with the conversation all right all right y'all let's get on with this reaction so Jasmine video was protecting my kids, taking legal action, it's time. In this video, you guys, Jasmine is basically standing up for what's right and protecting her family. She has a word for all the people, all the one or two persons that is trolling her family channel that it, it stops today. Okay, Jasmine says she has an attorney and um, no holds barred with this. So, you guys, let's let's talk about it. Okay, let's talk about it. Now, in that video, um, I noticed she said it was pre-recorded. She said, well, I guess what she recorded first, she decided to discard it because that wasn't really her. So, she re-recorded another video, and I guess this is what she has to say. So, the basis of what I got out of her video is, if you guys are not aware or if you are aware, there are channels um, that are making accusations or assumptions that Chris is harming the children okay so Jasmine says in that video that Chris is not touching her children um, he doesn't hit her kids um, she says I don't even hit my kids I'm a yeller and um, it has to stop okay now we do know uh my shabby life we're, we're, if you guys are not familiar with that channel but this is a channel that came out i don't know maybe a couple months ago that did a bunch of compilation videos of my jazzy life where they fused videos live streams of jasmine where she basically was at her most vulnerable moment being a single mom okay y'all we, we know this we've been watching jazzy we know how jazzy um reacts when she doesn't have assistance in the home to help her with her four children so, although Jasmine has spoke on that, she hasn't spoke on it as much. You know, she just basically said, y'all leave me alone. This is a little too, if you guys remember the video where she was sitting in the car crying um, because of all the harassment that she's been getting on YouTube. Now, does Jasmine deserve to be harassed? No, no one deserves to be harassed. But we, we, know, we know people, right? We know what it is. And I would just like to say this. You know... Jasmine has said, as, as as long as I have been watching her for over two years, that she likes to be real with her audience. Um, Jasmine has taken, um, not taken, but taken her most vulnerable moments and put them on YouTube for the world to share. Because for some odd reason, Jasmine feels like people can get it. And people, some people do. Some people do get it. But a lot of what Jasmine has put out was very distasteful, okay? A lot of what Jasmine put out was in poor judgment of herself. Uh, and it 
sometimes show reflections of her being neglectful to her children, like withholding food. Um, there was, there's one video where she was sitting on the door, put her back up against the door and the kids, which one of the kids, I think it was Amaya was pressing on the door cause they wanted their mama. And Jasmine just said, I just, I, I need to be, I don't want to be bothered with no little kids. And, and people were watching it like, okay, girl, like, but this is what she put on the internet. So Jasmine feels like because she was being honest and real, people should respect that. And some people do. And then some people are like, girl, I would never, you know? So I'm going to just say this, you guys. Jasmine's biggest fall, downfall, I feel, was the numerous live streams she has put on YouTube, okay? Where she's screaming and hollering at the kids. She's cussing them out. She's just, you know, just really ghetto behavior was her downfall, okay? Um, a lot of me feel like Jasmine doesn't know how to handle stress. She doesn't know how to manage it well. And it it showed in a lot of her videos. Again, as moms, we get it. We understand. Everybody doesn't have a picture-perfect situation when, when you're being a mom, um, especially a single mom when you have no assistance. But Everybody doesn't vlog their lives either. So when you see a person like Jasmine exposing that, that type of behavior, and for a lot of people, it's just like, what the hell is going on over here? Because some people are not used to seeing that, right? And because some women who are single moms and have more than four children just figure out how to make the best of their situation. Well, Jasmine now wants to defend Chris, okay? I told you guys in a video a while back, I really feel a lot of Chris wants Jasmine off of YouTube because he feels like it's a little too much. But every time he musters up the conversation, Jasmine throws that direct deposit in his face and he just be like, okay, girl. All right, I'm gonna give you one more month. Jasmine wants us to believe that she's a family channel. And what Jasmine is, is Jasmine is a mom with children on YouTube. Okay, now maybe th th that's a family. Okay, but um, I don't. She doesn't give family oriented content. She she just does it, and I know a lot of Chris is like, why are you getting all this harassment and all this? What? See again, you guys. Again, I'm gonna say this again. Jasmine has to remember how she introduced Chris to the world. Since you introduced Chris. In a four hour, five hour, three, it was anywhere from three to five hour live stream where y'all both were drunk, inebriated, and you were um, acting very salacious with him on the camera and, you know, giving us bedroom business as us as the world didn't need to be a part of. Okay. So, and then you, you put that, that's how you, that's how you formally introduce Chris in a very seductive, salacious way. And so now you want everybody to embrace this man. And it's just like, Jasmine, you put him out here in a very ill light. And then Chris himself continued to come on the camera again on Christmas Eve or the night of Christmas day where he was with his partners and he was on the extra jazz and Chris channel and he showed his whole ghetto entourage again y'all just not a good look for a woman who says she has a family channel so now Jasmine says she has an attorney okay she says she has an attorney um and she's taken legal action Jasmine baby is You've taken, 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 Jasmine, taken legal action. And, okay, Jasmine, again, like I've always said, since if you got an attorney and you're paying him money, you let him talk for you. You don't have to do the talking, sis. That's what the that's what your dollars do. Let your dollars do the talking, which is the attorney, and you let the attorney address the My Jazzy Life viewers and subscribers. But again, Jasmine has taken it upon herself to talk to the world. Now, one thing I will say about Jasmine is she does deserve the right to protect her family. Jasmine does get a lot of harassment. Um, also, she says CPS has been at her house yet again. She says animal control has been in her house yet again. But I'm going to say this. Jasmine being a lazy YouTuber and instead of just taking the time to shoot a video and edit it out, 
the parts that not, the, the world doesn't need to see. She does a live stream because she that's easy. That's easy money, you know? And so when you do that, you get caught in vulnerable situations where you can't edit it out and it's it's semen. It's there, baby. It's, it's, it's there. So I think Jasmine now being with Chris, for some reason, she wants to mature, okay? Um, I think when Jasmine was alone by herself and just her and those kids, Jasmine really didn't care. She just had a I don't give a damn attitude. I'm just out here. But now that she's with Chris, she wants to put a better hold on the channel and she wants to now try to turn the channel in to a family channel. But what Jasmine has to remember, and Chris as well too, Jasmine, there's many years out here of when you didn't show very family oriented content. And unfortunately, sis, that stigma is riding with you. And it's not somebody making up these stories. It's your own content. So Jasmine did say she was, she said she respect the reactors. Um, we, I, she understand it's your job. And I'm like, thank you, sis. It's been a long time. Uh, you, you know, we going back and forth with you, but sis, I'm glad you started to respect it because over here on TMR, yeah, we, we don't do all that craziness. Okay. I'm not going to put out false accusations. And when, when I say false, I say false because I'm not there. I don't have concrete proof. It's an assumption. It's an allegation. It's my opinion, but I'm not going to put it, especially something like that. You know, you touching the kids and you beating the children. Yeah. I'm not going to put that information out there because it's called defamation of character. You're, you're saying it like it's fact. And once it's proven that it's not fact, the person defaming someone else's character can be in a lot of trouble. So, y'all look. At this point, Jasmine said that she wants to move her family into a gated community because she's very fearful. And, you know, she says, I only have, you know, 40,000 subscribers. She doesn't understand. Sis, people are getting trolled with less and more than you. It's just, you know, it's unfortunate that it's happening to Jasmine but I really feel like Jasmine needs to figure out a way to try to reinvent herself. I think now that she's with Chris and they're a family unit or they're calling themselves a family unit, she wants her channel to be trade as such. And maybe that will work and maybe it won't. But again, you always got to see Jasmine, it's not going to work. See, people can't think of you as a family channel. When you let Chris get on the channel and cuss people out and call them stupid and slow. And since again, it's not a good look. J Jasmine says she wants to, take YouTube and go to a different plateau, well, then you're going to have to get Chris up on game, okay? You're going to have to teach him some etiquette, YouTube etiquette, because you can't be on here cussing people out and calling them slow, dumb, and they need a life and all this, and then the next, and, and then on the next video, he's on the camera, hey, you guys, how you doing? Hi, I'm Chris. Yes, this is not going to work when the day before he was cussing everybody out. So at the end of the day, sis, you, you need to you need to get him right, okay? Or if he can't handle the camera, then sis, he's a silent partner. He's behind the scenes for you. And you focus on you and your children. And we'll just know in the back of our minds, there's a plus one called Chris. But Jasmine has many times came on this camera, called herself defending herself. And I understand, like she said, she's trying to protect her children. And you know, at this point, Jasmine, I really feel like the only way that you can protect your children is protect your children and maybe take them off the camera because your channel is based around those kids because you're a mom of four, a set of twins. Now, I'm not saying Jasmine needs to leave YouTube. All I keep wanting to reiterate is, Jasmine, you created this monster. You, you did this, sis. You may not want to admit it, but all you got to do is go back and look at all those videos, sis. All that ignorant content you put out here. You know, two years ago, you were sitting on the camera talking about you about to have an AB. You took the kids Christmas money and had an AB with a set of twins. You think you're pregnant. This is going on. That is going on. You're just real immature content. And now you want to try to mature the content up. But then since you have several years haunting you in the background. I understand at this point, Jasmine's going to get an attorney. Well, since you might want to get a manager too, okay, so they can help you manage that content over there. You guys, that's pretty much all I have to say about Jasmine and her 
it's not necessarily, I'm not saying she's not trying to protect her kids. She most definitely is trying to protect her children, but she definitely is trying to protect Chris too, because all the negativity that Chris is getting, because y'all remember when they called Chris auntie, okay? He came out and he did a whole two hour video. Uh, you know, Chris is not feeling all this, okay? Well, again, Chris, before you linked up with Jasmine and wanted to be a part, you know, wanted to ride the train of her social media on here, so, sir, you probably should have went back and looked at a lot of those videos that Jasmine has been putting out or has put out and maybe question her and like, well, damn, why, you know? <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, you can't blame anybody but her because she put this stuff and Jasmine may not want to admit because like I told y'all, Jasmine's very hard-headed. She doesn't want to admit it but since you cannot blame anybody but yourself when it comes to what you're dealing with on YouTube. All right, you guys, so the twins' birthday, all right? So in the live or in the video that Jasmine did saying that, you know, she's here to protect her family, she also let us know that she did the best that she can do. She sees Jasmine's always saying, and we get it, sis. We all are doing the best that we can do. You don't have to keep reminding people. Like like you said, nobody expects for you to, uh, you know, have a whole full-fledged, the soul circus sitting at the kid's birthday party. Yeah, no one's expecting that. But I think where people were coming from is, you know, Jasmine, you've had money in your pocket, sis, to plan and prepare. Um, she even said in the video that she gave the kids $100. She said one of the kids' YouTube auntie gave the kids some money for their birthday. She said Chris gave them $50 a piece. And here we go again. She says, sis, we didn't need to know all that. We don't need to know how much you spent on the kids. Or at, at the end of the day, everybody know how much toys cost. We, we I, I mean, all you got to do... Who hasn't shopped at Walmart for their children for toys? Since all you got to do is put the toy up there, we can buy pretty much average what a toy costs us in Blue Clues, Paw Patrol, or whatever. We we get it. See, again, Jasmine gives too much information. All you had to say is one of the YouTube, one of the kids' YouTube aunties sent them some birthday money. Chris, you know, and whatever. Chris gave them. You didn't even have to say that. You could just say it. They got some money. We about to take them shopping. End of the story. We didn't need to know the particulars. And that's what I'm saying. Jasmine gives too much information. And a lot of me feels like she she feels like she she doesn't have enough to say. So she says more than what she should say to try to satisfy the video. And but which all you had to do was like, you guys, you're getting ready to go shopping. The kids got birthday money. Okay. You guys meet us at Walmart. And then the next thing you know, you appear back in the camera and you're at Walmart in the toilet and the kids are shopping. So needless to say, the kids end up eating cupcakes and they were at the house. And you know what? It's okay, girl. You didn't have to show us a big old shing ding. But you caused all this drama when you knew. See, that's the thing. Jasmine knows what it is on YouTube. You know it. And you played that whole thing out just to get attention on YouTube. And then when you get too much attention, then you want to start doing videos talking about you went, you have taken legal action. It's like, Jasmine, stop the cap. Stop the hype, sis. Just put out the videos. Be a regular, ordinary chick on YouTube. Stop doing all this sensationalizing everything because, sis, at the end of the day, Nobody really cares. There are so many channels on YouTube who are just living regular life and doing very well, okay? And their personal problems are that. They're behind the scenes and they're personal and the people, and sometimes people, YouTubers, decide to bring some of those problems to the internet, but for the most part, they don't, sis. And that's what Jasmine needs to understand. She overshares way too much. And at this point, I feel like the money she used for attorney, she should have used that money for somebody to help her manage her YouTube track, herself here on YouTube. That's what she needs to do. Because Jasmine, you definitely need some help, sis. Because Jasmine gives me, I know it all. And sis, you really don't. You really don't. And that's just, again, that's my observation. That's my opinion. But needless to say, y'all, we find it's over. The twins had their little three-year-old birthday party at the house. It wasn't anything, a big deal. And at the end of the day, it didn't have to be a big deal. But because she hyped her birthday up months before it even happened, and then the day of, it's like, rah, rah, rah. everybody's like, okay, girl, well, well, where's, the, where's, where's the balloons? Where's the cake? Where's the... Where? And it was nothing, you know? And it might have been that she just didn't... She wasn't in the mood for it. And we get it. 
as moms, we get like that sometimes. But what Jasmine has to also understand is because you are a YouTube mom and you live your life on YouTube, monumental moments like birthdays, holidays, people expect to see the video. And since more than two weeks past the, the monumental date, I don't know, you guys. I'm gone. I'm out of here. Y'all leave y'all thoughts and opinions down below. We, we, we rooting for my jazzy life. Nobody over here is trying to see that girl not succeed. We want you to succeed. But Jasmine, I just really need you to boss up. Like, you need a boss up mentality. And sis, stop telling us everything. We don't need to know everything. Just censor what you let the world know. All right, you guys. I'm gone. I'm out of here. I thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, leave your thoughts down below, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. Remember, you guys, sub what you love. Bye-bye.